This is Great White. I've been living inside Great White for almost four months now. I'm gonna be taking you guys inside my house today to show you around. I'm providing a list below in the description of all the main parts I used to build this. Amazon links are included. My name is Ryan Bell, and I've chosen to live in a 2002 Ford Econoline that I built into my own stealth RV. The outside is deceptively a work van, but the inside is my home for the next few years until I buy my future sailboat to live in. Van life is one of the most accessible lifestyles for anyone who wants a big change in their life and wants to travel and live cheaper than if you were just to live in one place. With a van, you have a chance of being stealth so you can park anywhere. A normal RV can't do this. Van life is an off-grid and true freedom experience. First things first, I got my Flame King here. Underneath here, uh, you see I have my propane tank. I turn it on, you can hear that. And boom, it's lit up. Get my pot, put it up there and cook. I've been living in this thing, like I said, for three to four months now. This thing is only half empty. It, I can uh, disconnect it at any time. When I shut it off, I close this first and wait for the flame to die down like that. And I would bring it over here and wash, you know, whatever I needed to wash. Uh, right now I have everything cleaned up because uh, just for the purpose of this video. I have uh, my plumbing. Uh, there's also this pump under here. I, I doubt you can see that at this point. Like um, if you can see up underneath here, uh, if you can see that there's two different tanks. Uh, the top tank right here is the good clean water. They're both seven gallon tanks each. So uh, I can fill up seven gallons and I can empty seven gallons. Also, if I need to, I can pull out this hose and I can be on the outside and give myself a shower. Also, if I wish to turn the sink off, like the pump, I would come down here, this little switch down here, and i just switch it off. And you can see now it no longer does anything. And now it works again. Uh, the next thing I have over here is the TV. I have Roku connected. I can actually swivel this thing out it can come however it wants. Uh, if I'm laying back in my seat right here, I can lay back and just watch TV. Uh, and uh, I can swivel out the back if I wanna have a campfire from outside. Uh, at, you know, it can uh, back up to the campfire and watch it. Um, if you look in the back of the TV right here, this is a Roku stick and it's powered by itself to, to unlatch the TV to come out and swivel. I just pull down on this part. Um, and I have my computer underneath it if I ever need to make music. Uh, this thing has a music studio in here. I'll be showing you that in a second. I'm out at a state park right now. And uh, when I load up Hulu, it actually loads up pretty quickly. While that's going on, I'll just show you real quick. Um, this is for my secondary lighting system. Under here, I have uh, a phone charger. I use that every single night to charge my phone. I have my internet. Uh, this thing, um, I just keep it plugged in all the time and it's always working. Um, this is called the Verizon Jetpack. It says 4G, but it only gets 3G the way I have it configured. As you can see, Hulu is already loaded up and I just go into my account um, and it loads that quickly. Uh, episode of Family Guy, watch how fast it loads off this. And... Like I said, I'm out in Harbison State Forest right now, so I'm getting 3G even out here, as you can see outside. See, and then I have my speaker set up uh, to play. And now that this is loaded up, it won't it won't cut off anymore. It'll just keep playing like normal. I don't have to buffer or anything after the initial buffer. And yeah, the the remote. The next thing I have down here is this Bamet air purifier. Um, it's on now. It cycles through good, poor, and excellent air quality. So it tells me what air quality I'm getting. This thing uh, filters the air in three different ways. I love this thing. Next thing I have down here, I have my um, game controllers. This one's to use for the computer. And then this one right here is to use for my phone if I wanna play like a Game Boy game emulator or um, N64, I have all that. Um, next thing, I have uh, my uh, dry erase board right here. I can, uh, you know, I'll show you that later too. 
Um, I put my wallet and then my protection down here. I have a shield, uh, what do you call it? Smith and Weston shield. Even below that, down here, I have a, a mic stand. I can set it up on this part and I can um, mic myself if I need that. Down below still, I have a battery charger for my power tools. I can um, take this uh, battery out right here and it can charge from the, the van battery itself with the solar power. Um, I just keep that up underneath there and I never even think about it. Next thing to show is the battery. Okay, so to get up to the battery, I have this compartment right here. There's sliding doors. This one slides this way too. When it's not hooked up on something. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I, I'll show you under here briefly. Um, I have my solar charge controller and this is connected uh, to my solar panel outside. I can uh, turn on and off the battery. That's the main switch for everything. That's the battery right there. That disconnects all electronics. This one disconnects the solar panel uh, from doing any sort of charging. The only way that this currently gets energy is from the solar panel. Everything's powered uh, by these 12 volt outlets right here. I have three of them. And then uh, to put on my um, speaker system, I just hook on my, uh, or switch on my uh, inverter right here. Um, there's also, I have a line six. This um, emulates all guitar sounds that I would ever want to get. Um, and back there I have my fuse. Uh, right here, this is my interface if you were wondering. This is for making music. Uh, down here I have, like if I just reach under here, these are wires right here. This one's for guitar and this one's for microphones. Uh, my microphones I just keep under here too. I don't know if you can see that. My solar panels are up top here. As you can see, this is the top of the van and that's my solar panel. It's a 150 watt panel. It's made by Renogy and uh, yeah, there's my fan. I'll show you the inside of that later. So here I have my fan, my Max Air fan. This is the, uh, the high end one. This uh, allows me to cool down. It makes a breeze in here as long as the back door is open. Although I do have another system that I created. Uh, if the doors are closed, there's this part down here. Um, I have there's a hole right here and then I can close and open this vent. Um, and then that'll allow air to move in or out. Um, and then there's a breeze in here when I'm just laying around. I have my controller for the Max Air fan right here. I press this button. It closes. I can keep that open while driving to highway speeds. It really doesn't matter. It's made for it. Um, and of course you got the buttons for it right here too. This is an awesome wood stove made by Cubic Mini. This is the smaller one. This is the cub. This does burn wood. It doesn't, it's not a pellet stove. Um, I could put charcoal in it, but that would get really hot. I just um, really use hardwood um, for it to burn longer. Specifically, I use oak. Let's see inside of that real quick, just to get a good look at it. Um, then I have the flue. Uh, I can open this shield down below, which is the, um, you can also put wood there to dry before you use it in here. Um, and then you have, um, yeah, this is the primary and then the secondary. Uh, the next things of note is I have my fire extinguisher right here. I can take it off quickly if I need it. Um, it's just a normal fire extinguisher that I got at Home Depot. Uh, you can get that too. Then I got my lighting switches right here to turn on and off the uh, lighting up ahead. I have six of these lights all the way around and then if I turn on the other switch, that's my secondary lighting switch I told you I'd get to. Um, the little mechanism to aim it at is up above this cupboard right here. Um, so I can put it on any color that I want. Um, I like the red and you know, it, just, it also goes, uh, jumps between colors. That's awesome. And then um, just as a little note in there, my fun little mode, I can switch it on to this beat. So every time I hit, you can see it goes to the music. Um, how 
I put this thing and uh, I convert it into a full size bed. So the first thing I do, I take this, rest it right here. There's a wooden panel behind it. I pull this over and uh, push the mat over as much as I can. Um, and then I bring this down just like that and it fits into place. I move this over and I push it down into place. And now this is a full size bed plus one inch. Um, and I have behind this panel, my uh, body pillow. So, um, you know, I can snuggle. And uh, during this, uh, the winter time, I have another comforter that I just store right here. Now what I have here, this uh, comforter, this, this is bamboo, 100% bamboo uh, is bamboo as well right here. And then uh, my pillow is also bamboo. Bamboo helps. Um, because it's naturally antimicrobial, um, it helps to wick away the moisture as well. It's very uh, good with uh, smells, so it's never gonna it's never gonna smell up the entire place because it, it doesn't really seem to get dirty. Here's just a little clip of me putting the bed back. Um, you see how it doesn't come out. Uh, that's just it fits almost perfectly between there and it makes it simple so it never falls back out when it's up in that mode and then I would just come back over here and put this pillow back up and it's good to go it's pretty quick uh, it doesn't take a lot of energy either now for under my bed it's kind of messy but I have um, my tools that I need for anything um, I have a machete on the outside over here um, another toolbox uh, and then power tool I use this for everything that if I need uh, to fix stuff um, a little floaty uh, river tube if I want to go down the river I have a, a water distilled water here for redoing the battery um, to quickly show you that um, this is a pump I would uh, connect uh, one side of this into the distilled water and then the other side of the hose is actually up underneath here I would connect that and that would just pump the water into um, Here and that would go straight into the battery Then I have my backpack. I have another larger backpack as well for hiking and camping for multiple days um, I have my coat for the winter time uh, Here is a cool little thing that's useful. It's this is a gel pillow if it gets too hot um, I can have this in the refrigerator uh, and it'll cool me down when I'm going to sleep so I can go to sleep easier. I also have an Eno uh, double nest hammock. Then I have uh, this bag which it says Ryobi. There's not actually tools in there. This is all um, stuff for, you know, medical stuff, uh, healing uh, wounds and massage type stuff and, you know, suntan lotion, just everything I need, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, if I go down here a little bit more, I have uh, my snorkel gear. I can um, snorkel if I'd like. Uh, and then finally, over here I have all my clothing that I'm not using right now, and uh, bathing suits. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much, and this whole entire thing, if you see, if I step back a little bit, it's just held up by this wooden stick. I can. Uh, just put that there and prop up the bed. As you can see, that's just, it. Uh, this um, panel fits back here, just good enough to where I can um, lift it up. For the chimney stack, this is this is what I have up on top um, during the winter time, so the uh, chimney works properly. I showed you this briefly earlier, but this drawer, um, I made these drawers myself. They have this mechanism to where I push it in, it closes slowly, and there's no way it's gonna come out while I'm driving because it's just you know it requires a little bit of force um, in here I have my toothpaste and toothbrush a flashlight a comb or a brush um, you know deodorant uh, flask you know uh, GoPro equipment I have uh, my main controller for the TV I have aspirin I have batteries you know just everything I'm gonna be using more on a daily basis not the flask you know what I mean that's just in there um, and then I have my soap for cleaning dishes uh, just pretty much what's in there. And then um, below uh, is the bigger one down below. Uh, these are things I'm gonna use a little less often or things that are a little bit bigger. Have my cup for tea or coffee. I have the life straw in here and also have the 
Sawyer water filter so I can fill up at a lake or river. And then I have my virtual reality down here. I can uh, uh, go into virtual mode with uh, my phone. Um, and I have like uh, a few chargers for my um, bigger laptop in here. Um, yeah, and that's just storage. Like I also have uh, my Bose uh, headphones that I use when I'm on hikes. I'll listen to music or podcasts. Uh, I'm definitely a podcast type of guy. Uh, I listen to that and then I have a book down there if I ever need it. I also have another book way down in there about the uh, national parks and then um, shaving equipment as well. And the bottom also closes slowly. Um, over here, this one also works the same. Um, I have all my silverware, uh, three of each, and then my plates and bowls, um, you know, when I need them. And then I'll have all my grilling um, utensils. I can uh, pretty much grill anything. Um, that's a messy right now. Uh, underneath, right over here, the bed, um, I have a lot of like clothing that I just need to get to quickly. My dresser is actually up underneath this part of the bed, but um, that's like clothes that are for the um, another season. Let's see, I have my refrigerator here. It's a Dometic refrigerator. I made this little mechanism. It's just like the um, slow close drawers that I showed you. Um, it is plugged in to the back here uh, with you know the wires. Um, I can open it um, during the winter it seems like it would use like one amp per hour but right now it's like using almost like five amps an hour which is just crazy um so yeah i have it off right here these are the buttons on this side um i just store beer in there right now when i you know just to get it out of the way so um that thing will be on during the winter time and again um if you look down right here i have a little latch so it doesn't accidentally pull out during um, when i'm driving um there's another latch right here for this door um I can uh, open it, put this latch down, and then uh, the door stays open. And that's for if I need to cool the back down or heat it up during the winter time. And then I have, of course, uh, these mirrors that you've been seeing. Um, that's very nice. Up here, you can see I have a clothes hanger that just comes right off, but um, you can see it has a little mechanism, it just stays there. So if I need uh, clothes that I don't want to get wrinkled or if I want to put my coat up there, um, that's good for that. Right here, I don't have it mounted or anything, but this is my carbon monoxide alarm. I would say you definitely need one of these. Um, when it gets hotter out, it seems like uh, there's more of a carbon monoxide danger for the batteries boiling and putting out those toxic gases that they do. Up here, you can see I have my pots and pans. These uh, stay stable because if you look um, really close up here, you can see that there's uh, the non-skid. I also have this keyboard uh, which is uh, for my big computer if I need that. And then this is my pantry. There's nothing, I have very little food right now. I have to go out and shop. Also has non-skid on both this top and bottom. Here I made it so it fit cans below this part. And then oils and like for cooking and then just all my seasonings I just keep over there in the corner. Um, as you can see, the uh, these are not very pretty. Uh, from the inside, but on the outside, I glossed them up. This is actually my old stu music studio desktop. I cut out and repurposed um, for this, just so I can bring my old studio around with me everywhere I go. The bathroom. Coming up in the front here, ending the, um, getting close to the end now. Um, I have water bottles. Uh, if I need that, I usually always store them there. Um, I have boots, navy boots actually over there. You can't really see them. Um, and then I have my bicycle up here. It's, it's called the Schwinn Loop. It folds up uh, easy enough to sit in the front seat. Um, and I can easily, within three minutes, have this thing ready to go and outside. I have, uh, you know, of course my phone chargers and I can charge my GoPro up here with the C adapter. Finally, I have my trash bag. This is where I put all my trash. I keep it up here so it doesn't smell the back of the van. Bag storage, because I need more bags, I put the bags back here. And I also have a fishing pole over there too, if I need it. Up here, this is actually the logo to, my, uh, to the last guy who uh, owned this van. I didn't pull them off because there's other stuff underneath it. It just gets messy. Um, as you, If you see, um, look at the wall, it's black. That's kind of like when the doors close, the, the door is black as well. It just kind of hides what's in the back here. Um, and since I have these trimmings on right here, um, 
that uh, prevents any light from showing up and through. Um, and uh, another note, um, you see how thick the wall is. Uh, this wall is heavily insulated, so I'm actually sweating really bad up here right now because it's really hot up here. But in the back, it's like 20 degrees less. Uh, it feels like when it's in the sun. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head back now again because it's too hot up there. If you've noticed underneath the wood stove in this video, I have uh, this hose right here that's for hooking up to the outside. Um, I also put my shoes there. Let me show you the hose uh, where I do that real quick. So if I come onto the outside. I can open up this door right here um, and as you see uh, this is the clean water and then this is the dirty water so I can let out all the dirty water um, so this clean water right here this is the one I hook up to the hose and then I can hook up to a you know a side of the house or wherever um, uh, RVs can hook up for water um, and then that, that'll just you know push it in through the pressure of the water system alone I'm thinking of uh, switching over and actually making it a pump system to where I can put the hose in here and uh, put the other side of the hose to a lake and then um, it'll pump the water in there and through a filter so I can drink the water uh, from the sink itself. I'll be doing that when I go more boondocking. That's just from the outside right here. Living in a van does get dirty pretty quickly so I have this uh, hand brush just to constantly brush all the dirt out. This uh, floor stays pretty clean actually, um, even if it gets wet and dirt, uh, it's pretty simple. Once it dries, you just brush it off. So please subscribe if you've enjoyed my van tour. You can find my parts lists and all the social media links um, in the description below. I am active on Facebook and I'm currently building www.outdoorsembrace.com. Um, and that's to sell my van building skills. If anyone doesn't feel like they can do this themselves, I'll help you out. Um, until next time, let's all live a little closer through the Outdoors Embrace.